continuing resolution to keep the government money. What do you think of all this? I don't make anything of it. I, you know, I'm from D.C. So as you know, the government is one of the big town businesses. So a lot of people I grew up with work on the hill. So I hang out here sometimes when I'm in D.C. and catch up with old friends. Do you su support anybody in particular, or did you come here for a particular cause? Well, I'll tell you what I didn't come to do. Be on television. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking when you see pictures like this one of Dave Chappelle with representatives Anna Paulina Luna and Lauren Boebert, along with this one of Congressman Byron. I think what matters most is qualifications, not skin color. Unless you're nominating me to be Speaker of the House in spite of my lack of experience in office, then I'm all for race-based promotions, Donalds. You think that these images confirm that Dave Chappelle, the same man who proclaimed to be Team Turf and railed against affordable housing near his community and invited Elon Musk on stage during a stand-up, is a Republican. Before I continue, if you didn't know, Dave has a show in Washington, D.C. tonight, and he's from Chocolate City, and it's common for celebrities to stop by Capitol Hill, and when he did, this is what happened. May we get a selfie with you? Okay. I know you're trying to leave. So it turns out that Dave Chappelle was just willing to take pictures with adoring fans who happened to be MAGA. Wait, these Republicans are thankful for all Chappelle does? What was I thinking? All right, guys. So we got to talk about Dave Chappelle, who once again is triggering the laugh. And I don't think he does it on purpose. I just think that He's a comedian with common sense. I don't think he's left or right. I don't think he's Republican or Democrat. I just think he's Dave Chappelle, okay? And because he's Dave Chappelle and he really don't give a F about what anybody thinks because he has F you money, he is free to say whatever the hell he wants to say. Kind of like Elon Musk who says whatever the hell he wants to say. And these people boohoo, whine, and cry about it. And again, we know how much uh, the left hates free speech because it is a national security threat, according to them. It is a threat to their narrative. It is a threat to the establishment. Uh, they can't stand it. They can't stand when somebody like Dave Chappelle shows that, hey, you know what? Um, hey, I'm not nearly as Trump deranged as you guys are. In fact, <laughs> if Trump is elected, Again, I fully expect not the overthrow of democracy, not the end of our republic, not the end of the world, okay? No, I expect a tax cut. Ask a question. What the fuck you gonna do if Trump get reelected? Uh, what am I gonna do if Trump get reelected? Probably get a significant tax break. Same, right? Along with no new wars, <laughs> A closed border, a better economy. I expect all these beautiful things from Trump if he is re-elected. So with that being said, again, Dave Chappelle is triggering the left. Okay, we know that he's triggered the left before when it comes to this issue of, you know, trans rights. Okay, and uh, the fact that, you know, apparently people on the left don't believe that people should better make jokes about trans people. Again, even comedians who do comedy for a living, they uh, make jokes about everybody. Uh, they call Dave Chappelle transphobic, okay, for making jokes, doing a Netflix comedy special. And the cries about transphobia are now coming back up when it comes to Dave Chappelle because he went to the Capitol and um, committed the sin of taking pictures with politicians that leftists don't like. Like, for example, Byron Donalds. Uh, who took a picture with Dave Chappelle. But the picture that is going viral and hurting leftists across the country uh, is this picture of Dave Chappelle with uh, Lauren Boebert and Representative uh, Anna Paulina Luna, okay? In which Lauren Boebert uh, captioned a picture saying, just three people who understand that there's only two gender. So again, you have leftists like Ryan Sneed, who is upset and saying it's been a huge letdown seeing Dave Chappelle align with these people, okay? And uh, again, you have outlets like the Daily Beast, again, crying transphobia, right? Claiming that Lauren Barber enlists Dave Chappelle for transphobic photo op. Again, you guys can imagine how leftists are reacting to Dave Chappelle taking pictures <laughs> with people that they don't like in the Capitol. So Dave Chappelle, the comedian, was just spotted hanging out with Lauren Boebert and Anna Paulina, two MAGA Trump supporting Congresswomen who are election deniers and are pro-insurrection. 
I don't know what he was doing there with them. I don't know if this was an arranged meeting or if he was just passing by the halls of Congress or the Capitol and then just so happened to bump into two of the most vile people in the American government and then take a picture with them. But he looks pretty happy in this photo or at the very least, he doesn't seem to be embarrassed that he's posing with these two vile creatures. Now, maybe he didn't know who they were, but I doubt that. Everybody knows who Lauren Boebert is. So we'll wait to see if Dave Chappelle comes out and denounces and condemns this photo along with Lauren Boebert and Anna Paulina. But I'm waiting and haven't seen that yet. Now, everybody knows I'm not a David Chappelle stan. But I see a lot of people talking about this picture that Representative Lauren Boebert took with David Chappelle and Representative Anna Luna. Now, Luna and Boebert are two staunchly conservative Republicans with an anti-LGBTQ agenda. And she posted this picture and she captioned it in the following way. Just three people who understand that there is only two genders. Now, I'm going to play a little of the video leading up to this, and you tell me where this discussion took place. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> May we get a selfie? Okay. I know you're trying to leave. All right. Thank you. Now. I personally believe that David Chappelle should have known better. I've had many congressmen and state representatives try to take pictures with me, knowing the sides of the issues we stood on were diametrically opposed. And they would try to take these pictures because they wanted to seem like it was some common ground between what we were protesting and what they were suggesting. And there was no common ground, so I didn't take pictures with them. Me personally, I'm not surprised that Lauren Boebert would have captioned this photo like that, knowing David Chappelle's stance against the LGBTQ community. Here it is, Dave Chappelle, Lauren Boebert, saying just three people will understand there's only two genders. If you're triggered by me telling you that this is ridiculous, I don't know what to tell you. What we're not doing today is normalizing transphobia, so if you have a problem with that, I suggest that you block me because I'm going to keep reposting this until I get my way. Have a great day or the day you deserve or whatever. Yeah, so you see now you heard that, okay? Clearly liberals upset, right? That Dave Chappelle took a picture with people that they disagree with politically, okay? And it's just so hilarious to me what liberals choose to get upset about, okay? It's almost as if they're not actually really liberal in regards to the real definition of liberalism, okay? Again, these people are so deranged, okay, when it comes to Republicans and Trump or, you know, whatever, that they get mad that a comedian took a picture when asked, okay, for a selfie with two congressmen that they disagree with politically, okay? It's really sad that we live in a world where articles like this are written in which you have leftists basically demanding that Dave Chappelle not take pictures with Republican congress members, okay? Even when, they're, you know, somebody asks you for a picture, hey, stop taking a picture, whatever. Dave Chappelle is, I, I don't think that he's on the left or the right, uh, I think he's just Dave Chappelle. But anyways, let, let's read this because, again, uh, articles like this are hilarious, right? But also, at the same time, extremely sad because it shows you how polarized our country actually is. So let's read here. During his visit to Congress yesterday, poor Dave Chappelle was blindsided. The guy went and got tricked. Might as well throw in bamboozle and hood wink while we're at it. Blame that sneaky Lauren Boebert, who Chappelle claims outfoxed him with her request for an innocent selfie. How exactly did Bobert fool Chappelle into posing for her anti-trans message? The comic told reporters as he was leaving Congress yesterday that he was in D.C. for a show and had stopped by to see old friends. Rep. Anna Paulina Luna stopped him in the halls to say, quote, thanks for all you do, prompting Bobert's request for a quick selfie I know you're trying to leave, Bobert said, but the amenable Chappelle obliged. Again, which, you know, hey, he didn't have to do, but he did it because Dave Chappelle, again, he's probably a nice guy, right? He says, okay, I'm going to take this selfie, okay? No harm. And he probably would have done the same thing with a Democrat if a Democrat would have asked. But a Democrat <laughs> probably would not have asked because they know that taking pictures with Dave Chappelle, they probably would be labeled 
transphobic okay that's just kind of how it goes because apparently these people believe that saying there's two genders is transphobic right like again it's it's just so funny to me how you can't have a statement of fact right without being labeled a bigot okay again it's just it's just funny how facts have become bigotry in uh 2023 of course he might have not posed if he'd known uh, Bobert was about to throw the picture up on Twitter slash X with the caption, quote, just three people who understand that there's only two genders for good measure. Uh, Bobert punctuated the hostility with a happy face. At uh, Chappelle's show last night at Washington's Capital One Arena, the comment complained about Bobert's post. According to reporting from her post, Chappelle was not only trying to do his part to bridge the political divide during difficult times, he told the crowd he was, quote, blindsided by Bobert's actions. It's a shame she tricked me, Chappelle said, according to Call to Activism. I had two tickets to Beetlejuice and I was going to give her one. <laughs> again so clearly and obviously here dave Chappelle is actually just making a joke right he's responding to the obvious uh left-wing backlash that he knew he was gonna get uh because there's no way that he didn't know who uh lauren bobert was clearly he knew who she was again the joke in and of itself tells you that he, he knows about lauren bobert he took the picture knowing that she would post it of course she was gonna post it he knew that and this is what he was responding to, right? He's responding to the backlash that he knew he was going to get. Clearly and obviously, he's joking when he says that he was blindsided, right? Again, this is all jokes. He's a comedian. But see, the left, again, this is how deranged they are, right? They're trying to cope and trying to say, well, Dave Chappelle says he was blindsided, right? He didn't know that uh, Lauren Boebert would use uh, the picture to promote transphobia, right? Again, it's just it's just so hilarious. Boba was one of several congressional representatives who stopped him for pictures yesterday. He said, uh, although he was surprised that she wanted one, quote, I saw her there rubbing her mitts together. He reportedly told the crowd, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> what was Chappelle supposed to do? Here are a couple of suggestions. First, don't take pictures with Lauren Boebert, one of the most divisive and most ridiculed members of Congress in recent memory. Uh, Chappelle's been around the block a few times. It never occurred to him that opportunists post selfies on social media. If you don't want to be associated with Bobert, politely say no and continue your exit. See, well, again, here's the problem. They don't understand that Dave Chappelle doesn't care. He doesn't give a F, right? I don't think he cares about either side. I think he's just saying, uh, yeah, she wanted a picture and I'm going to take the picture. He knew, he knew the backlash he would get from taking a picture, right? And that's probably one of the reasons why he took it because he knows that these people boohoo, whine and cry and get upset. And it's just funny to make fun of these people, right? And to troll these people over their fake outrage. Second, none of this happens if Chappelle didn't continuous, uh, continually uh, double down on transphobic material in his act. If Chris Rock or Ali Wong or Taylor uh, Thomason happened to be strolling the congressional halls, there would be no, uh, no ground for Boebert to claim they're all on the same team. Chappelle doesn't want to be used for Boebert's ugly messages, but where's the lie here? If you don't want to be associated with hate mongers, Mr. Chappelle, then rethink the transphobic jokes. You continue to insist on telling. Again, these people need to get a life, right? Again, it's sad. It is so sad that these people boohoo whine and cry and they write think pieces on Dave Chappelle taking a picture with Lauren Boebert and Anna Paulina Luna and Republicans. Again, I'm not sure if I've ever melted down or rage. I damn sure has not cried hate and bigotry over some celebrity taking a picture with a Democrat, right? I don't care that much, okay? It's just a picture, okay? Uh, if, you know, a celebrity is walking and a Democrat wants to take a picture with a celebrity, I'm not going to get mad at the celebrity because they didn't refuse to take the picture or <laughs> because the picture associates them with a Democrat. They're a celebrity. He's a comedian. Everybody's going to going to want to take pictures with him. Him taking a picture with a politician does not imply that he's on that politician's team or that he agrees with their opinions or that he's pushing hate or anything like that. It's just a picture. He's a celebrity, right? Celebrities take pictures. But again, I do think it's hilarious that uh, Lauren Boebert took that picture and then, you know, uh, posted it and, you know, said that there are only two genders and, you know, 
triggered to laugh because again these people are so easily hurt right their feelings get hurt so easily so anyways let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace